Hi guys, it's me and I'm back with another video. So I wanted to try some new products with you guys, but first we have to get rid of this old wash and go, okay? So I found some new products. The brand is called In Honey Melty. The pack retails for $28. It comes with a In Honey Melty Moist Repair Shampoo. It also comes with a Moist Repair Hair Mask as well as a Moist Repair Treatment. So I did get these products because they are aesthetically pleasing, but while I'm shampooing and deep conditioning my hair, I do want to give you guys some insight on what I found out about these products. So the new series from Anne Honey Melty series are those who desire a more controlled, straighter hair. Hair is more flexible and less prone to unwanted waves and curls. Hair shows unwanted curling when the hydrogen bonds are broken. In Honey Melty series, moisture sustaining mechanisms work to balance the hydration level for hair that is more controlled. Some of the ingredients include argan oil, honey, royal honey, propolis, golden silk, hyaluronic acid, hydrolyzed silk, and more moisture replenishment ingredients. There are three types of honey, 60% Manuka from New Zealand, 20% rose honey from Bulgaria, and 20% raw honey from Japan formulated with 100% organic Moroccan oil. This product says it's also free from sulfate mineral oil, synthetic dyes, propylene glycol, paraben, silicone additives, and animal testing. The fragrance is Oriental Rose Honey from Japan. After shampooing my hair twice with the Moist Repair Shampoo, I went in to like section my hair off and child, that was pretty difficult. Anyway, nonetheless, I went in with the Repair Hair Pack. And y'all, when I say this product is thick, like it is thick like very very thick i even dropped it like trying to show y'all <laughs> anyway i applied it to my hair i applied it to one section and then i went in and applied it to the other section of my hair just to give it an opportunity to sit for a few minutes i felt like that would give me a better opportunity to detangle and it did a little bit but at the end of the video i'll give you guys some more tips and tricks i feel like will help in using this product I'm not going to hold you guys too long because you guys have seen me shampoo and condition my hair a million times on this channel already, so I don't want to bore you. However, I am going to finish detangling my hair. I'm going to deep condition off camera, and I will see you guys when it's time to style. So I know I'm looking crazy, but don't worry. We're going to get it together, okay? Like we always do. I always say that. We're going to get it together. So I already deep conditioned. I wanted to do it with heat like under the dryer, but I didn't get an opportunity to do that this time. So I just deep conditioned for about 30 minutes. I rinsed that out, and now I have the conditioner in my hair. I'm super excited about this, okay? I'm not going to go into details until the end of the video. You already know that, but um, I got some new gel. This is the new gel. I really don't know what to expect, but I kind of have high hopes for it already. If you guys don't know, you can mix like a little bit of your gel and the styler of choice, mix them together in your hands. And if it starts to create like white balls, then it's probably not a good mix for your hair. But if it doesn't do anything, like if it just meshes well together, then you should be fine. So I have one pump of the conditioner on all four sections of my hair, right? And I want to shingle this time. I never shingled before, but we're gonna try it together. So we're gonna start in the back, like we always do, you know, the drill. This ain't nothing new. My hair is so soft, like, man, it's so soft. Ooh, this is a twist top. Okay. Okay. It smells like a popsicle with a little bit of alcohol. Okay, so before I go any further into the other side of my hair, I wanted to say that 
Mixing the conditioner and the gel gave me a super smooth, like, raking method through my hair. But my hair feels cold. Like, it feels ice cold. Like, when I run my hands through my hair, it feels cold, which is the weirdest thing ever. Anyway, I did want to do the shingling method, but girl, I ain't got no time for that. We just rake the product through our hair, and that's how we're going to get some definition, okay? I'm going to do the other side of my hair, and I will be back when I'm finished. Okay, I'm done. There is a lot of definition in here, and my hair is so cold. That's so strange. It's so cold. But um, we got a lot of definition here. This side is like drying already because I had to do this side. But honestly, it's looking good so far, but we don't know until we dry and fluff and stretch and slay, you know what I'm saying? So after I come from under the dryer, I will be back and give you my final results on these products and what I think. After sitting under the dryer, this is what my hair looked like, a hot, crunchy mess. But I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. We're still going to fluff and chow. I don't know, but it's so hard. It's so hard and crunchy, and it was just sticking together, and I just wasn't feeling it, honey. Like, I just, it looked limp. So I finished sitting under the dryer. My hair is completely dry now, and... I don't like the results okay it's like real flat there's no like like there's no volume here for me and I don't like that but I do love the products so let's start with the shampoo the shampoo <laughs> it was drying as hell okay it stripped my hair I thought it was I had high hopes for these products okay because the bottle is aesthetically pleasing so I felt like this was gonna be like bomb.com and they were kind of expensive too so I felt like this was gonna leave my hair like like bomb but this stripped my hair like a lot like it stripped my hair it didn't strip my hair to the point where it was like like dry dry but it definitely stripped my hair uh, as far as this um, Repair hair mask, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, okay? Like, this hair mask is a 10 out of 10. Initially, when I put it on, I was like, oh, this isn't going to do anything for me because I wasn't able to detangle. But if you let this sit on for, like, a minute or two and then detangle, it's going to be a breeze. I mean, just like that. Superbomb.com. The conditioner. These two go hand in hand for me because without this, this probably wouldn't work work as effectively this is super super thick but this is not it's kind of like a smoother softer consistency and i really really like that this conditioner is bomb as well all of the products smell the same they smell like i don't even know they smell like fresh tom you want to smell this for me you want to help me out they smell I don't know. I was expecting it to kind of smell like really, really sweet, but it doesn't. Really. What does it smell like? Don't read the bottle. Just it's in Japanese, but we can't read it. It smells flowery. It well, okay. Yeah. It smells flowery. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm on TV. <laughs> get out of here <laughs> this gel is like any other gel i have tried previously like the japanese gel it's hard okay it smells like popsicle and alcohol that's what this one smells like the last one i reviewed a few weeks ago that one smelled like nail polish remover but this one kind of smells like sweet popsicle alcohol yeah that's it um i do recommend these products Especially if you don't get anything, you definitely need the treatment and the conditioner. These two go hand in hand. You can use any shampoo you want, but these two together bomb. I actually, considering the fact that my hair does feel like moisturized, but hard because of the gel, if that makes sense. I do want to try like just a conditioner wash and go. That might come after this video. I'm not sure yet, but just using this product because I feel like this will give me bomb results. Just this alone had my curls like hopping. So I don't know. We'll see.
Oh wait, I don't think I mentioned that I use this pomade on my edges. I got this a while back. I don't even know what it's called or where I got it from, but I got this a while back and it's like a green color. Wait, there we go. It's like a green color and yeah, it got my edges super slick. It is a Japanese brand. It has like a little man on it. I think it's for men's hair to like make the hair stand up, I think, but it did okay on my edges. I think so. It did all right. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of videos. If you do, you already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share where you share videos, and I will catch you guys later. Bye!